Hello, this is the follow-up video to the one-shot lubrication system that was fitted originally to the Toolco VM26. Um, this mill is very, very similar to several more out in the market. I think there's a Grizzly, there's the 626 standard mill, which everyone is aware of, and the VMC. I wasn't very happy with the one-shot oiling system. There was no meter block. Uh, which controls directional flow to each one of the ports or oh, there's no pop-off ports which are fitted to each one of the ways so it basically the oil went at the easiest path um, what I've ended up doing is a bit of drilling a bit of threading uh, which I won't bore you with and I fitted um, nipples which are commonly known in the UK as grease nipples uh, but anyone in the know uh, will know that they are lubrication nipples and can be used for oil or grease as on the bridge port where they use for oil. So now, instead of having the one shot system, I've got um, a lube nipple there, which is the Y right. I've got one there, which is the Y left. I've got one there, which is the X front, and a remote mounted one here off a pipe, which is the X rear. A lot of the the ports used to intersect one another and feed top and bottom. I've now plugged basically those, you can see there, because that one used to run across the top gallery from the X and drop down into the Y. So basically starving this area if it received any oil whatsoever for another reason, which I'll show you in a moment. So now um, this is purely fed from this point and this will hold oil within the gallery. It will not run away. <laughs> I've repurposed one of the original pipes, made a bracket, the original lubrication port which is there, I've cut the fitting down and used it as a shallow nut, just to hold it in place, save some space. And the other thing which I have done, which you remember from the original video, I don't know if it's still visible, but you can actually see where the original oil port there used to intersect the clearance slot at the back of where the jib or gib strip used to be so any oil that you were trying to pump up to the x gallery which fed the y right gallery used to run straight along there and out through the back so that issue has been removed um, again i've done the same on this side um, any cross port in between ways i've now eradicated by basically blocking them uh, with a grub screw I know it's not so convenient having a, a little pump that you can just put your hand on and give one shot and hope it works. But I think this way you can guarantee where the oil is going. Things did get a little bit gash, I'm afraid. Um, this original uh, lubrication point had no gallery. So that had to be cut in by hand. Unfortunately, using a grinder because I haven't got anything big enough which you cope with it. Uh, this one here is now redundant. So I cut one here. Um, but as I've got a cold and done a bit of sneezing at the same time, I've got a little bit of skip marks on the side. The other thing to be aware of as well, if you have one of these machines and strip it down to this point and you get the saddle off, the Allen bolt there, which is holding the lead screw nut on for the X travel, was actually proud to surface and it was polished. So uh, that got taken out and shortened slightly. It's time now for a large cleanup. Um, wash out all the ports wash out all the galleries and fit it back to the mill and hopefully um, everything should work thanks for watching